Hi guys, welcome. It's time to make an update for a certain video, Ctrl Alt G, on YouTube, Arco Linux. Well, let's try the number. I've written it down, 1264. Do we get it? How to decide what ISO to download on Arco Linux has been a while, 2019. So, the question is, we find all this information online, seems to be a university it seems to be something that can well um, how to say that in a nice English word that can activate your brain that can challenge you that can be interesting to become a expert in Linux it happens to be Arch Linux but it's Linux it's Plasma it's XFC you'll be able to use it on Solus, on Red Hat, on SUSE. It doesn't really matter because it's a desktop. What can we choose? How should you choose it? Well, everything is in the Arconix information website, info website, where we communicate with the guys and say, okay, soon there will be a release. First, you'll get the ISOs on AAG. You can test it. So beta testers, what's all that about? That's in here, beta and help Arconix AAG, right? So information is on this website. How do I choose my ISO Eric downloads, right? These are the places to download from. So now I know where, what should I download? Well, there's also the torrents you should remember. It's in here, Arconix editions. You have four major streams or, or branches or whatever you want to call it. But this is the one we recommend in the beginning, Arconix XL and XL stands like clothing with extra large. If you scroll down, you see that it's a complete ISO with default desktop XFC, just one desktop. You can add always any desktop. That's the, the, the danger and the advantage of Calamaris. It's going to be teamed. Bluetooth will be working. Network will work. There's lots of software, hence XL. So the biggest ISO that we have, basically. 64 bits and so on. You'll find all these things on there. And graphically, if you like a more graphical approach, this is an infographic where we say it's all there. It's all possible. Everything is, is there. But XL is this. XFC, there is wireless, there is printer, there's Bluetooth and lots of applications. Maybe you recognize some icons here. And Arshling Sweetle is always there. AMD Intel is always there. But the B's are here, the D's are here, XS is here. So together with the text up here, you and the graphical information, you figure out maybe and the first time on Linux, well, take an Excel, simple a little bit longer on Linux and you know how to manage and install packages, then maybe XS is something for you, but it's still XFCE, right? So this is extra small. So this is a trimmed down version of XL and saying, let's get rid of and lots of packages just go out of the window, which means more work later on. Install this, install that, install this. Now there are different desktops and laptops and the problem is hardware right the kernel the linux lts kernel supports maybe the correct driver has the correct driver for your hardware maybe it's the xen mod or maybe it's the zen kernel so you have choices in kernel to test out is that kernel better for my hardware okay so this is all xfce lots of software of course, there's also the XS with the Linux kernel, the same as this one, but there's some more variations to test out. Hey, I need Xen mode. So then you can say on the flagship XL, next time around, I'll select Xen mode kernel. So that's immediately right when you boot up. Arclinx D, well, we have a learning phase, right? There is an explanation is what the learning path and phases Rome isn't built in one day. So you start with small steps and you learn gradually in your way into the desktops and maybe then later on the tiling window manager, which is a little bit more tricky. And so this one is at the very end after two, three years of working on Linux, you say, okay, I know Arch, 
right? Arch Linux, how to know how to install stuff, remove stuff, update things, and know what packages I need, etc. etc. Then the D ISO, the Arch Linux D ISO, might be something for you. The two options say whatever, I don't use Calamaris basically, and um, I'll just type my commands. Or you check in Calamaris, I want to have CHADWM and I want to have i3 and XFCE and install me this, please. So you decide the desktop on the fly. In the BISOs, they're also minimal. So basically, they're also XSs, but it's a different desktop. Whereas these guys are all XFCE with extras, if you want, right? Calamaris. But this is Plasma or Mate or Simon, and this is how it's meant to be looked, right? When you start mixing, things go wrong. Unless you have some knowledge, things will go wrong. Right? So the BISOS is deciding to have Arclinx B Mate, Arclinx B Cinnamon. Again, there is a lot of freedom in Calamars, but that's always the case and that's always the danger. Mixing desktops. Okay? So those are the things you, and on this page you can read on and read more. Um, you can decide what to choose with these extra, well, this extra page and this extra video knowing what to do and here is a very important thing arc links is basically arch with configurations and applications stop that's it arc links is based on arch and we've done some 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 figures and, and numbers is always interesting to know that 95 percent more or less you see 93 percent is arch and a little bit three four percent is either from us or from third party, meaning pseudo pacma minus as Spotify. I have not created Spotify, right? Everybody knows Spotify or Deezer. No, I haven't written those applications. Those are third party stuff. All right. I hope it makes it clear and we had to make an update for sure. But um, voila, those are the branches and you choose between the branches what to do. But don't overestimate yourself. Sometimes people start with a DISO and they're not ready. You need to figure out how everything fits together before you can uh, try that out. All right, cheers.